Hi, everybody, and welcome to Action Figure Breakdown, episode number nine. Uh, my name is Seth, back here with you again. Uh, as previewed in our last episode, uh, we will be talking about uh, three different three-packs today. Uh, we're going to go ahead and recap real quick what those are. Uh, so first off, we've got our uh, Vision, uh, Sam Wilson, Captain America, and Kate Bishop as Hawkeye three-pack right here. Uh, so Toys R Us exclusive, which obviously Toys R Us is no longer around, so it's uh, kind of hard to come by. Uh, next up, we've got our Ultron, Hulk, and Marvel's Vision. Uh, as you guys notice, uh, this is a second Vision. Uh, this one's also white. Uh, this is from the Avengers West Coast uh, story arc. Uh, but I really dig that Hulk as well. He's pretty cool. Well, I can't wait to take a look at him. Uh, next up, we've got... Uh, Probably the best three pack out of the three. Uh, Ms. Marvel, Captain America, and Radioactive Man here. Uh, as you can see, they've given us a head alternate for Captain America as well, so we're going to go ahead and take a look at that. Uh, all right, guys, so let's go ahead and dive into those. Uh, real quick, I want to let you guys know at the end of this, in order to honor three packs, we're going to go ahead and do a three prize pack giveaway of uh, Funko Pops, uh, so stay tuned to the end for those. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and dive into the figures. Uh, we'll start with that first three-pack we took a look at. And we've got uh, Marvel's Vision. Uh, so here we go with the Vision, guys. <clears throat> really like this paint job. Uh, this is from the Marvel Now universe. Um, digging the really sharp lines. This cape is pretty cool as well. It's got the cool neck. Unlike the Hulkbuster Wave, which is kind of a harder cape, and also the white vision, which we're going to take a look at a little later, which is our cape. This one's pretty cool because it's nice and flexible, as you can see. Go ahead and bend it a little bit there. And uh, again, I like the neck piece here. The other two visions don't have that neck piece. We'll go ahead and take a look at that other vision here in a minute. Uh, but let's get to his articulation and his buck. So he's got a pretty standard male buck here, as you guys can see. Uh, not too big, not too small. Uh, pretty standard shoulder joints, uh, double hinged elbows is a standard for the male buck. Uh, we've got uh, two hands here, which are wrist pivot and twist here. As you guys can see, he's got a thigh pivot as well, uh, hip, uh, hip pivot, ab crunch. Uh, let's see, we have a shin pivot as well, which is pretty cool. That's nice. Um, again, really like the sharp lines on the paint job here. So we can get a better shot of that a little bit. There we go. And then he's got these cool feet. Uh, let me take a look at that. And he's got the twist, ankle pivot, as well as the up and down. All right, guys, so that's our vision. Uh, as you can see, he's got, uh, like I said, I really dig the sharp paint job on this guy. More red in this one than the other visions. So yeah, all right. Next up, we've got, out of that pack, Kate Bishop as Hawkeye. So she was the uh, second person to take up the Hawkeye mantle, I believe. Um, and she is currently an Avenger, our female Hawkeye here. We've got Kate. Uh, so she's got a couple cool features. She's got a neat uh, different quiver, uh, as you can see. Uh, she's got the hip quiver here, which is pretty cool. Uh, she's also got a silver bow, unlike Hawkeye, who's got a purple bow. Uh, I have the comic Hawkeye, not the MCU Hawkeye, so he's got a purple bow, uh, but I dig this one a lot. And uh, she's got two hands here. Uh, as with the Vision, he didn't come with uh, other hand options, and neither did she. So she's got a hand for grabbing arrows in her right hand, and her left hand is here to hold the bow. Uh, articulation is pretty standard for the female. Uh, top pivot here. Uh, she does have a vertical up and down uh, neck pivot like that. Um, which is pretty cool. So if you wanted to swap heads with like a Laura or something to do without the glasses, uh, that'd be pretty cool. Uh, she's got standard shoulder pivot. Uh, I dig the paint, how she's got a sleeved arm and an unsleeved arm, much like Clint. Uh, standard female elbow, kind of got the socket, ball on socket thing going on. Uh, I said the wrists, yeah, the wrists do their thing. Um, thighs, I have a thigh pivot. She's got the skimpy little butt showing here. Typical female figure. Uh, double hinge knee, thigh pivot, I said. Uh, this one with her boots, she does not have a. Oh, no shin pivot on this one, which would be more of an ankle, uh, but she does have the up and down feet, and I believe 
Oh, there you go. She's got the uh, the ankle pivot as well. This one's kind of a tight ankle pivot, so but it's still there. Uh, all right, guys. So there's Kate. <laughs> we'll get her right side up. She's a pretty cool fig. Dig this one a lot. Uh, but the creme de la creme, in my opinion, of this three pack, hands down, is the uh, Sam Wilson Captain America here. I uh, really dig the suit on this one from the Marvel Universe. The uh, comic universe, of course, not the cinematic universe. Um, as for articulation, again, pretty standard male buck. He's a little bulkier in the shoulders, uh, as you can see. They kind of gave him shoulder pads. Um, but it's all just kind of molded in. Uh, he's got a uh, bicep pivot here, uh, standard shoulder, vertical neck, uh, socket, back and forth. Uh, Sam came with two hands. He's got a fist. Uh, let's see if we can turn that there. Okay, so there's the fist on a pivot. And then he came with a hand for holding things. Uh, so if you wanted to, uh, you could make him Falcon and give him a gun and the shield. Uh, he does have the back peg, so you can plug the shield in the back. Um, legs are pretty standard. Uh, we got the thigh pivot here. Got the kneecap double hinged, uh, which is pretty cool. And he's also got the neat, uh, neat pads, which I dig. Uh, this one does have a shin pivot, which is pretty cool. Um, unlike Kate there uh, for these boots. Um, but he's got the standard marble foot and the swivel as well. So that's pretty cool. Um, if you guys noticed on the Facebook site, as I mentioned just a second ago, I talked about turning him into Falcon. Um, and this is Cap Falcon. Uh, Sam Wilson was Falcon before Captain America, uh, which is pretty cool. Uh, so I went ahead and I went to a website called uh, Shapeways uh, that does 3D printing. And I'm super stoked to see these on the website. So these are the uh, my Captain America Sam Wilson uh, wings uh, that I ordered. And I'll go ahead and show these to you guys back and front. And as you can see, there's a cool little hole in the middle. And that comes as a neat feature. As you can see, the 3D printing kind of gave it a feathery uh, mold to the outside lines. And if we can get the lighting just right here. There you go. So right there, I'm a little pale now, but the texture is really good on this. As you can see, they made it like feathered wings. Um, there's exhaust ports. Uh, let's see if I get my finger right here. And then on the bottom, let's see if I get that lighting just right. Yeah, as you guys can see, there's like exhaust ports on the bottom. Uh, there and there. Okay, so yeah, there and there. So there's those, those exhaust ports right there. Those are pretty cool. Um, and then it's also an articulated wing. So what's cool is it goes forward and backwards. So we got a forward facing wing there. And it also goes up and down. So we can go high or low. All right. Now this uh, is a 3D printed wing. So it came on like kind of like a card. And then I had to like punch everything out. So I still have to do some painting. Um, as you guys can see, there's some white spots on the top where I had to like peel the card apart. Um, there, that shows it a little bit better. <clears throat> um, and the other thing is, is that uh, because it's a 3D printed piece, you kind of have to shave the ports a little bit where I plug the wings in. Um, honestly, I'm a rookie customizer. I feel like a uh, professional could do a much better job. Maybe like chrome out some of these feathers and stuff like that uh, with some red chrome. It's a really neat plastic. It feels really sturdy. It's really strong. Um, these wings have fallen apart. Like, I don't want to say fallen apart. Uh, the wings themselves have stayed together. But the uh, joints where they're connected to the backpack have fallen out once or twice. Uh, but again, that's because I'm a rookie and I don't have anything, everything plugged in necessarily snug and tight and correct. Um, I feel like a good customizer could do a much better job than I did. Um, but it's not too hard for a rookie to get that uh, to stay together. And as you can see, it's not like unsturdy. Um, but the plastic's really strong. So none of the pieces have broken, even though they're tiny, which is cool. I haven't snapped anything, uh, which would be devastating. Um, it runs around $30. Um, I will provide a link for these cool, uh, this cool accessory, um, in the comments of the video, as well as our Facebook page. Um, I'm not associated with them in, in any way. It was just a cool thing I saw on the internet and I pass it along to you guys as well. Um, so real quick, just to show you guys, they also fit this to fit the backpack, obviously, for Sam. So I'm going to go ahead and plug this in and show you guys. Awesome. So there we go. There's Sam with wings. That's pretty cool. And as I said before, the shield, that little hole in the back, 
has a nifty little purpose. And we can go ahead and put the shield on Sam's back here as well. So you don't lose Sam's back shield portability. All right, so now we've got Sam with shield on his back. There we go. Pretty cool. Plugs right in. And he's still got his holding hand in case he needs it, so he can hold his falcon gun and take off and still be Captain America. So, again, creme de la creme figure here. This is, uh, I was excited to get this guy, and even more excited to customize him. Um, <clears throat> the other thing is, it fits uh, pretty nicely in a flight stand as well. So, go ahead and throw him up here real quick. And there you go, guys. Falcon in action. Cap Falcon in action. Sweet. All right, so we'll move on to the next figures, guys, in this uh, reveal slash review. Let's go ahead and make sure he doesn't fall over. I'll just stand him up. <clears throat> and the next three-pack we're going to take a look at is the uh, Vision Ultron uh, Hulk three-pack. Uh, as you guys uh, probably know, the last Hulk I had was the Gladiator Hulk, which is pretty cool. Uh, but that's not really the definitive Hulk I wanted for my Avengers set. Um, so I went ahead and I scooped up this guy, uh, which is uh, Bruce Banner Hulk. He's got uh, short hair, as you guys can see there. It's pretty cool. we got brown pants instead of our uh, MCU movie pants, which is pretty neat. Although, I will say, based on the lining and the molds here, it kind of seems like Hasbro might have cheated and just painted these brown. But his head mold's definitely different, and it's not the Bruce Banner or Mark Ruffalo mold, which is pretty cool. Uh, Hulk's got uh, standard big guy articulation like thing, just the top of it here. Uh, really cool legs uh, for good movement here, double hinge knee. Uh, he's got the big guy foot pivot, which is cool, and then he's got the up and down, which is nice. Uh, standard big guy arms. Uh, he's got uh, double hinged elbows, uh, up and down with the, with the shoulders. And then I believe, yeah, this guy's got wrists too, which is pretty cool, so Hulk can smash out in different ways. Uh, again, um, with these figures, they don't the three packs they don't really offer a lot of hand or head options, so this is kind of what we got to work with. But I dig this Hulk a lot, so this is going to be my Hulk uh, in my Avengers line for a while, at least until I can get my hands on one I might like more. But I'm not sure; those are really expensive. Uh, anyway, uh, moving on to the next one in that set, uh, we've got our other Vision. Uh, I'll take a quick look at him. Um, so this Vision is more in the mold of the Vision from the Hulkbuster line. Uh, which I actually have uh, a whole bunch more figures to show you guys in our next couple of videos. We're probably going to be banging these out um, maybe like two a week in the next week or so. That's that's a lot of stuff. I, I think I have a problem. Um, <laughs> if anybody knows of any support groups I can join, uh, please send them to me so I can block them on Facebook and continue this wonderful addiction that I have. Uh, so getting back to Vision here, guys, uh, as you can see, he's pretty translucent, which is pretty cool. He's got the neat cape. Um, the cape comes off like the Hulkbuster cape, uh, but this one is hard plastic, so it's not really bendy. I mean, it's not terrible, but up at the top where it's like, it's real stiff. You can't like move it around a lot. Uh, it's stiff at the neck too. It's probably meant to be that way to stand his back. Um, typical male uh, buck again. <clears throat> He's got the standard smaller shoulders, not like Cap's bigger ones. Uh, bicep pivot up and down. Double hinged elbow, single hand option again with the two fists, um, thigh pivot, uh, double hinged knee, shin pivot, uh, and then <laughs> this is this is the goofiest part about this vision, uh, his feet, guys. Uh, so this vision, uh, unlike the Hulkbuster one and this one, they gave toes for some reason. Um, it's, it's just weird. I don't, I don't hate it. I don't love it. I just, I just think it's strange. Um, but he's a cool vision. I dig him. And like I said, he's uh, the white clear vision from the West Coast Avengers arc, which is pretty neat. Um, when he decided to be translucent for some reason, because whatever. Uh, androids are strange. Anyway, uh, so moving on to the final figure in that pack, which I think might be my favorite one out of that pack. It's tied between him and Hulk. Uh, is our Ultron. Uh, so yeah, this guy's really cool. Uh, probably... I dig this Ultron way more than the other ones uh, from the MCU. Uh, I dig this Spader Ultron. It's cool looking. It's got a robot feel, but it doesn't. It just doesn't fit with the comic figs that I have, and I'm not really collecting the MCU figs. Uh, the MCU figs are cool, not to knock them, but they have this kind of uh, same mold, uh, different heads vibe. 
Uh, it's cool if you like to customize heads, but um, I don't. So um, anyway, so here's our Ultron. He's got the cool uh, black spots, uh, which are like you know static or what whatnot in his mouth. He's got the uh, standard male buck, um, up and down ab crunch, uh, vertical head, back and forth, uh, shoulders. He's got the cool. Um, these are molded on. They're not like painted spots. I mean, they're painted, but they're not. They're they're textured uh, spots on his on his armor. <clears throat> uh, he's got one open fist uh, or one open grabbing hand for something, you know, menacing claw, and uh, he's got one fist. Uh, his feet are pretty flat and pretty neat. They've also got the pivot, a double hinge knee, no shin on this guy. Uh, he doesn't really have it. It's just there's no shin. Uh, thigh pivot. Let's see, there we go. Okay, so there's our thigh pivot, standard hips. Uh, and then his knee, or his feet are cool. So they're like, you know, robot feet, but they're like uber flat, so it makes them easy to pose and stand. Um, again, dig this Ultron. Uh, it's kind of all about the head and the top half of this guy for me. His, his bottom half's pretty cool, too. Um, I feel like he may have army build his bottom half and stuff. It's actually kind of cool to think about now. Uh, but anyway, yeah. All right, guys, so there's our Ultron, and that completes that three pack. Uh, so let's move on to the next one, which is probably the best one of the three, to be completely honest with you. Um, so in that one, we've got a Captain America, a Ms. Marvel, and a Radioactive Man. Um, so we'll start out with Ms. Marvel. Um, Carol Danvers, who becomes Captain Marvel later on, um, a.k.a. Warbird, a.k.a. Binary. This is the Warbird costume, I believe. Um, not a great paint job on this one, unfortunately. You guys can see the black spot on the back of her thigh. Also, I'm not a huge fan of this costume. Um, as we talked about with the Jessica Drew costumes before, um, I dig the practicality, actually, when you think about this. Um, regular Ms. Marvel, is so, or regular Captain Marvel is so much cooler looking with the space helmet and the suit and the red and yellow and blue, and I don't know. It's just, I dig the lightning bolt. I think it's a cool costume, um, but it's definitely a uh, callback to the sexy 90s comic book age. Which wasn't terrible. It was good. It gave us a lot of good story arcs, but not necessarily my favorite costumes. Um, so let's talk about our articulation real quick. Standard female buck. <clears throat> She's got shoulders, bicep pivot. Uh, let's see. We got ball and socket arms. No hand options, but she's got wrist pivot uh, there and twist as well. What else do we got? Uh, she's got the cool power sash. It's not attached, so it can kind of move around a little bit. Uh, thigh. No shin on this one. Um, double hinge knee, as you guys can see the thighs right there. Uh, ankles, got the twists and pivot right here, which is cool. Uh, looking at her head, okay, so her head, she doesn't have uh, the vertical that Kate's got. Um, so you can't, her, again, long hair, kind of crowds the shoulders, not really gives her, doesn't really give her head a whole lot of places to turn and stuff. Ooh, there we go. Um, but she's got a little bit. Like, I mean, she's got a socket. It's a ball and socket. So, I mean, this is not really, but it doesn't have the the, the hinge, which sucks. Uh, oh, well. Case Ross Ross. She's a cool thing. Uh, she'll go cooler with my older Avengers. She's got the top female thing there. Um, like I said, not my favorite fig in the um, set. Uh, Captain Marvel is definitely one of my more favorite characters, uh, but just not that version. Uh, but we will move on to Captain America in that uh, setup, which is probably. This is my new favorite Captain America. So real quick, we'll bring up Old Steve. I don't know if I ever reviewed him, but here's Old Steve. Uh, this is from the Onslaught wave, or the Red Skull wave, as some people would call it. Uh, so he's got the cool red and white shield. Uh, as you guys can tell, it's a piece of molded red plastic. Uh, he's got a, He comes with a couple hand options, which is cool. He's got gloves. Um, this was the big knock on this guy, was the shoulder straps. So as you can see, I'm kind of like used a rubber band to put them together and keep them together, which is nice. Uh, but that breaks sometimes. And honestly, it's an action figure. I shouldn't have to tie the shoulder straps together with a third access, like third party's accessory. Um, but again, he's got old school boots. It's, it's a pretty dope Captain America. Uh, he's got the wings on the side of his head. Um, and these, if you can see from the mold, let's see if we can get the camera shot, they're molded on. So they're an external wing. All right, uh, but anyway, we'll move on to the new Captain America that I just got, uh, who I think I like better. Um, and this is uh, our Steve Rogers. I showed you guys the alternate head in the preview on the box. Uh, this is our square jaw, non 
MCU Steve Rogers, and I dig the hell out of this fig. Uh, so the other cool thing about this fig is the shield, uh, as you can see there in that awesome lighting. Um, there's a little bit of a chip in the paint here, but it is a metallic shield. Um, and on the back of it, as you can see as well, let's go ahead and take it off and take a look at it. Uh, it's got cool bolts, and it's kind of got a metal vibe, and it's painted red. Uh, so I'll be able to fix that paint. Not too difficult. But the silver is part of it, so it kind of gives it... I dig it better than the, the red piece of plastic that's painted white and blue, as opposed to this one that's painted red and blue. The bolts feel real. It's it's a pretty neat fig, I dig this. Uh, Sam Shield has the bolts, but again, it's red plastic. Uh, not my favorite. Quite case for us, Rob. Um, it also doesn't have a metallic look. Uh, but let's get to the cool things about Steve that it looks like they fixed with this figure. And or, I don't know, messed up a second time? I don't know. I don't know when the release of these was. Uh, but he's got the cross in the back, so these shoulder straps are not coming off. Hooray! This one also comes with a wicked cool uh, molded belt. Um, the belt has uh, some awesome molding to it. Uh, he's got a bunch of packs, uh, a couple stun or smoke grenades here, flashbangs whatnot. Uh, looks like a canteen and a radio or something. And then he's got the knife. Uh, my only knock on this figure would be that the knife doesn't come out, but eh, whatever. That's just another accessory, and it's a three-pack. And they gave us an extra head on this one. Uh, and real quick, we will show you guys the extra head. Um, so this is why I went with the Steve Rogers head, is because I actually, on the other cap head, I dug the wings being molded on as opposed to painted on. So these aren't bad. I don't hate this, but I don't love it. I like the other cap head mask better. Um, and I could probably swap them out, so I probably will. But there you go, guys. So this is Steve Rogers. Uh, he's got standard male buck, real quick, articulation, ab crunch, da -da -da, hip pivot, uh, shoulders, da -da -da, biceps, double hinged elbow, uh, wrist pivot. That's kind of cool. Uh, oh, but that stinks. Okay, so he doesn't have twisty fists, so you can't change his hands out. Um, and then the same thing with this one. This one's going to be a wrist pivot hand, so the hand's going to be from, like, the wrist to the hand. So if you wanted to change it out, womp womp. Uh, legs, we got thigh pivot. Oh, no, this is a different style. Okay, so this is, like, the Sandman style leg, um, where there's going to be a round part here that plugs into a, uh, that has a peg that plugs into this leg. So in theory, you could swap out these legs pretty easy. Uh, double hinge knee. Uh, this one's got a shin pivot, which is pretty cool. He's got, uh, ankles. Um, neat little detail here. Uh, his boots, they did brown on the bottom. So they look like actual kind of like combat boots, which is pretty cool. Uh, he's got the up and down on the ankles and the twisties. Cool. All right, guys, so this is my new Captain America. This guy's pretty cool. I'm, I'm digging him way more than the other one. Um, I might swap heads, but yeah, whatever. I can swap legs, it looks like. Uh, maybe. I don't know. Um, all right, so on to the third figure in that three-pack. And this guy, I was surprised. Uh, I was like, the first time I saw this three-pack, I was not super impressed by him. Uh, when I hear the words radioactive man, I think of uh, Bart Simpson and the Simpsons radioactive man and Fall Out Boy. And I'm just now realizing there's a band called Fall Out Boy, and they might be named after a Simpsons character. Um, but anyway... Uh, <laughs> Here is Radioactive Man, guys. Uh, so this is Chen Lo from, uh, I believe it's Chen Lo, uh, from, uh, he's a Chinese scientist. Uh, he goes all radioactive in the Marvel comics, and he's a badass. Um, and this figure is just sick. Like, he's got, like, the translucent uh, vision slash ice. Actually, I'm going to say, like, Iceman feel. Like, all of his joints, everything's clear. Uh, he's got his boots. They gave us a cool shin pivot here. Um, they gave us the Marvel uh, Legends ankle pivot. We got a thigh pivot. We got a double hinge joint. He's got the nice bulky male buck here. Um, shoulders are a little small, but they kind of fits the buck. Uh, the joints, as you can see, standard shoulder, bicep pivot, double hinged elbow. Two fists, no hand options. But man, is this mold cool or what, dude? This plastic, he is just... This is sick. <laughs> it's got like a singularity, but like I want, man, dude, this is a cool figure. I, I was not, I was like, oh, radioactive man. And then I like did a little research and then like saw this big and I was like, this guy's sick. 
So, awesome, awesome figure. Very excited to uh, go over that one with you guys. Um, guys, as you can tell, we're going to be going uh, crazy on action figure reviews here in a little while. Uh, and real quick, we're going to get to our uh, three-pack giveaway. Uh, so we're going to do a Funko Pop giveaway again. Uh, it was pretty popular the last time. Hopefully it'll be popular again this time. Uh, we're going to do it similarly to the way we did it last time. Uh, you're going to go ahead and go to our Facebook page, find the official post giveaway. Uh, I'll have it pinned to the top of the page. Um, and then you're going to like uh, and comment on the post, as well as like and subscribe to our uh, YouTube channel, uh, as well as follow our Facebook page. Um, you will need to do those things this time around to get uh, to be qualified for the contest. Uh, other than that, uh, it's a free giveaway, guys, so uh, come get your stuff. Um, and first off, on the stuff we're going to be giving away, we've got a Marvel uh, Ant-Man and the Wasp Funko Pop Chase Wasp figure, the Evangeline Lily fig uh, unmasked Wasp from uh, Ant-Man and the Wasp. Pretty cool figure right there. Da -da -da -da. Nice. Uh, and then, like I said, it's going to be a three pack, three pack prize giveaway. Um, and this one we're going to do, we're going to give away Call of Obsidian as well from uh, Avengers Infinity War. Sorry about the lighting there, guys. Yeah. Anyway, okay, so there you guys go. This is a big heavy pop, too. Um, and last but not least, the creme de la creme of this three pack uh, prize pack is going to be our Black Panther uh, Funko Pop t shirt, Glow in the Dark. Uh, giveaway here um, and it's got a medium shirt I only have one of these guys so unfortunately there's no choice in shirt sizes you're gonna get a medium shirt uh, if you don't like it give it away to somebody who wears a medium um, but you get the Funko Pop in there as well uh, the box is unopened kind of forever uh, the box glows in the dark too which is pretty cool uh, so guys like I said uh, go to our Facebook page find the official post giveaway like uh, and comment with the number 1 through 75 We'll do it just like we've done the other ones. This has been pretty successful. Um, this is, like I said, in honor of three packs, we're going to do a three-piece uh, prize giveaway. Uh, so uh, go ahead and re remember to subscribe to the channel this time, guys. Um, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Uh, we'll see you guys next time around. And uh, when we do more action figure breakdown. Uh, have a good night.